ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತಿಮಿರಾಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಖಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ ಉನ್ಮೀಲಿತ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಯೇನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದಾಮಹಿಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತಿಕ ನಮೋ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿತಿ ನಾಮನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೇ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಣಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸತಿ ಗೌರ್ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ್ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ್ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಚಾಂಟ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ದಾಮೋದರ್ ಅಷ್ಟಕಂ ಸೊ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಶೇರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಹೂ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸಿಂಗ್ so i am going to pull it up for myself yes you can find it on kk songs maybe bhavagrahi prabhu is it possible maybe we can pull yes, it yes probably i'll sure. just thank you thank you so for all the days we will start our session by singing the whole damodrashtakam ನಮಶ್ವರ ಸಚಿದನಂದರೂಪ ಲಸತ್ಕುಂಡಲ ಗೋಕುಲೆ ಭ್ರಾಜಮಾನ ಯಶೋದಾಭಿಯೋಲೋಕಲಾಧಾವಮಾನ ಪರಾಮೃಷ್ಟಮತ್ಯಂತೋದೃತ್ಯ ಗೋಪ್ಯ ರುದಂತ ಮುಹೂರ್ನೇತ್ರ ಯುಗ್ಮ ಮೃಜಂತ ಕರಾಂಭೋಜಯುಗ್ಮೇನ ಶಾತಂಕ ನೇತ್ರ ಮುಹೋಶ್ವಾಸಕಂಪತ್ರಿರೇಖಾಂಕಂಠ ಸ್ಥಿತಗ್ರೈವ ದಾಮೋದರ ಭಕ್ತಿಬ್ಧೇಕ್ ಸ್ವಲೀಲಾಭಿರಾನಂದಕುಂಡೆ ಸ್ವಘೋಷಂ ನಿಮಜ್ಜಂತ ತದೀಯೇಶಿ ತಜ್ಞೇಶು ಭಕ್ತೈರ್ಜಿತ ಪುನಃ ಪ್ರೇಮ ತಸ್ತ ಶತಾವೃತ್ತಿ ವಂದೇ ವರಂ ದೇವ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ನ ಮೋಕ್ಷಾವಧಿ ವಾ ನ ಚನ್ಯಂ ವೃಣೇಹಂ ವರೇಷಾದಪೀಹ ಇದಂ ತೇವ ಪೂರ್ಣಥ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಬಾಲ ಸದಾ ಮೇ ಮನಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತ ಕಿ ಮನ್ಯೈ ಇದಂ ತೇ ಮುಖಂ ಭೋಜಮಾತ್ಯಂತ ನೀಲೈರ್ ವೃತ ಕುಂತಲೈ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧರಕ್ತೈಶ್ಚ ಗೋಪ್ಯ ಮುಹುಶ್ಚುಂಬಿತಂಬಿಂಬರಕ್ತರ ಮೇ ಮನಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಮಲ ಲಕ್ಷ ಲಾಭೈ ನಮೋ ದೇವ ದಾಮೋದರಾನಂತ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪ್ರಸೀದ ಪ್ರಭೋ ದುಃಖಜಾಲಾಭಿಮಗ್ನ ಕೃಪಾ ದೃಷ್ಟಿವೃಷ್ಟ್ಯಾತಿದೀನ ಬತಾನು ಗೃಹಾಣೇಶ ಮಾಮೇಧ್ಯಕ್ಷಿ ದೃಶ್ಯ ಕುಬೇರಾತ್ಮಜೌ ಬದ್ಧಮೂರ್ತ ಯದ್ವಯಾಮೋಚಿತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಭಾಜೋ ಕೃತ ತಥಾ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸ್ವಕಾಮೆ ಪ್ರಯಚ್ಛ ನ ಮೋಕ್ಷೆ ಗ್ರಹೋ ಮೇಸ್ತಿ ದಾಮೋದರೇಹ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸ್ತು ದಾಮ್ನೆ ಸ್ಪುರ ದೀಪ್ತಿ ಧಾಮ್ನೆ ತ್ವದೀಯೋದರಾಥ ವಿಶ್ವ ಧಾಮ್ನೆ ನಮೋ ರಾಧಿಕಾಯೈ ತ್ವದೀಯ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಯೈ ನಮೋ ರಾಧಿಕಾಯೈ ತ್ವದೀಯ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಯೈ ನಮೋ ರಾಧಿಕಾಯೈ ತ್ವದೀಯ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಯೈ ನಮೋ ನಂತ ಲೀಲಾಯ ದೇವಾಯ ತುಭ್ಯಂ ಜಯ ರಾಧಾ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಧಾ ದಾಮೋದರ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಗೌರಾನಿತ ಜಯ ಗೌರಾನಿತ ಗೌರಾನಿತ ಜಯ ಗೌರಾನಿತ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ 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 ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇ 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 ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇ ಜಯನಿತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಪ್ರೇಮಾನಂದೇ ಹರಿ ಹರಿ
बोल निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बोल ऊर्जा व्रत कार्तिक मास की जय श्री राधा दामोदर लाल की जय श्री वृंदावन धाम की जय 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 श्री राधे श्याम so i feel very fortunate to be here um in the service of the devotees here at parthasarthi foundation thank you so much for having me um to all the three organizers of this call headed by hari leela prabhu bhavagrahi govind prabhu and prema priya padma mata ji and so many wonderful vaishnavas and vaishnavis thank you so much for having me here this leela of dam bandhan leela ukhal bandhan leela damodar leela is so beautiful that it is actually a hari leela <laughs> it is the leela of shri hari where he being um, completely bhavagrahi huh? being the desirous uh, child of mother yashoda being govinda being bhavagrahi he accepted the bhav of mother yashoda who is prema priya padma <laughs> who is the lotus like <laughs> dear mother of krishna uh, who is full of prem full of love so in this past time we have bhavagrahi govind interacting uh, as krishna interacting so wonderfully with his mother and this whole past time is hari leela so i am very happy here in the association of such exalted vaishnavas and vaishnavis and to everyone participating from different parts of the world i offer my obeisances vancha kalpatru bhishtha kripa sindhu vya eva cha patitanam pavanam pyo vishnavi pyo namo namaha so for the next 8 uh, days starting from today i have been instructed to engage my tongue in the service of glorifying the damodarashtakam damodarashtakam written by satyavrat rishi is a beautiful wonderful composition and a gift to this world in the hari bhakti vilas actually shila sanatan goswami pad has written that it is very important for every gaudiya vaishnav to sing the damodarashtakam every day during kartik mas this is niyam seva this is a must do there is no compromise on that other ashtakams we can discuss whether or not depending on one's time depending on one's inclination and uh, depending on how much interest one has but damodarashtakam is compulsory shila sanatan goswami pad has written close to 400 verses in the hari bhakti vilas uh, glorifying the rules and regulations of damodar uh, urja vrat kartik mas so it's very important for all of us to follow this one month of vrat give this month your best shot give your heart to radharani if we have not been able to surrender till now no problem this kartik mas this uh, urja vrat we can offer our heart to radharani to radha damodar actually hari bhakti vilas describes we should worship damodar radha damodar in this month so there's one mantra there's one pranam that i'm going to chant now which i will chant all the eight days and i request all the devotees to chant every day during this month and even during other months and all one's life and maybe future lives also <laughs> it's that important uh, that that important uh, um, composition it's by shila rupa goswami pad and it's the pranam mantra for radha damodar so you can all chant after me i'm going to give pause so you can hear and then try to repeat anga shyamalima chhata bhiravito mandi kritandivaram jadyam jagud rochisham vidadatam पठंबरस्य श्रिय वृंदारण्य विलासिन हृदय लसत दामा विरामोदर राधा स्कंद निवेशितज्वल भुज ध्याये मदामोदर what does it mean anga shyamalima chhata viravito mandi kritendi varam o krishna your form is so beautiful anga shyamalima your form your beautiful wonderful form is shyamalima is bluish black in complexion chhata viravito and 
it's like a rain filled monsoon cloud with the sprinkling of lightning around why because shrimati radhika is next to krishna she is the lightning and krishna is the rain cloud this beautiful combination is so mesmerizing that mandi krita indivaram indivaram means the forest of blue lotus flowers that's the most beautiful thing that we can think of as far as the blue complexion is concerned you can think of the rain cloud in the sky and you can think of the blue lotuses in the jamuna rupa goswami pad says whether it is the rain cloud in the sky or the blue lotus flowers in the jamuna both of their complexions are surrounded with something that is dazzling effulgent what is that the blue lotus the uh, blue rain filled monsoon cloud is surrounded by the flash of lightning <laughs> around and the blue lotus flowers are surrounded by the very beautiful wonderful twinkling ripples of the jamuna and this combination of radha damodar is so beautiful where krishna is bluish black and shrimati radharani is molten gold that it puts to shame the beauty of the rain filled monsoon clouds surrounded by the flash of lightning or the beauty of the blue lotus flowers in the jamuna surrounded by the twinkling of the ripples of the jamuna wah wow. rupa goswami thank you <laughs> thank you for giving us such a vision into the spiritual world anga shyamalima chata viravito mandi kritendivaram jadyam jagud rochisham vidatatam pattambarasya shriya oh now what's happening shrimati radhika and shyamasundar radha damodar what their complexion is and what their clothes are and what's happening in their heart is total contrast because shrimati radhika is completely golden in complexion and that is the outer dress of shamsundar <laughs> and her dress is bluish black and that is the complexion of krishna so krishna's complexion is shrimati radhika's cloth and radhika's complexion is damodar's cloth and in their heart what is happening so it is damodar who externally has the cloth the yellow dhoti of radhika radharani and radharani she has the blue cloth representing damodar that is the external flip so outside damodar is the cloth is the complexion of radha so she is outside <laughs> and for radharani she is golden complexioned and her dress is the complexion of damodar so inside so this is damodar and outside there is radha and if this is radha then outside there is damodar but what's happening in their heart in the heart of damodar is radha <laughs> and in the heart of radharani is damodar so prem sandwich is going on prem sandwich so there is damodar and outside damodar is the yellow cloth of shri radha's complexion and inside damodar in his heart is the golden complexion radha and for radharani her blue cloth so outside her the blue cloth represents damodar and inside her heart is damodar but in the heart of radharani is damodar and in the heart of damodar is radharani but in the heart of that radharani there's damodar and in the heart of that damodar there is radharani <laughs> and in this way unlimitedly radha and damodar are sitting there together ever beautifying each other who is more beautiful shashi nacha nisha nishaya cha shashi shashi nacha nisha vibhati navah paya sa kamalam kamale na paya Question asked is, Shashi na cha nisha nisha ya cha shashi. Is it the moon which beautifies the night, or is it the night which beautifies the moon? Oh, one thing is for sure, nobody has the answer to that. <laughs> is it the moon which is decorating the night, or is it the night which is decorating the moon? One thing is for sure, both of them come together and decorate the sky. similarly payasa kamalam kamale na paya payasa kamale na vibhati sara so is it the lotus which is decorating the water or is it the water which is decorating the lotus one thing is for sure we don't have the answer because if there was no water the lotus won't look that good and if there is lotus uh, if there is water but there's no lotus the water won't look that good but one thing is for sure we don't know whether it's the lotus decorating the water or water decorating the lotus but we are sure both of them put together are decorating the pond so similarly we don't know whether it is damodar decorating shrimati radharani or whether it is radharani decorating damodar but one thing is for sure 
putting them together. They are decorating the whole of Prajabhumi. Sri Vrindavan Dhamaki <laughs> And where is the proof for this? How do you know who has more influence in Vrindavan and who is decorating Vrindavan more? Actually, both are decorating Vrindavan. Because the complexion of Radha is golden, molten gold. And the complexion of Shamsundar, Damodar is bluish black. That's their complexion. And those who know some drawing and some painting and the mixing of basic colors, then you will know if you mix yellow with blue, what do you get? You get green. And that is the color of Brajabhumi. Sri Vrindavan, the forests of Braja are painted green because they have the complexion of Sri Radha and the complexion of Shamasandar put together. <laughs> <laughs> In the Srimad Bhagavatam, in the Ras Panchadhyay, Krishna is called Marakatamani. Marakatamani is green emerald, not blue sapphire, green emerald. So the question could be asked, Krishna is Ujjwala Neelamani, he is blue sapphire stone. But in the Bhagavatam, he is described as green emerald. So the question could be, is Krishna green or is Krishna blue? Actually, Krishna is blue sapphire. But because he's always with Srimati Radharani, her effulgence is mixing with Krishna's blue color. And therefore, in the Rasa Leela, Shukdev Goswami says, oh, he is <laughs> Marakatamani. He is the green emerald. And our uh, Bilva Mangala Thakur has also said this. Madhura Madhara Bimbe, Manjulam Mandahase, Shishiram Amrita Nade, Shitalam Drishtipate. Vipula Maruna Netre Vishrutam Venunade Marakata Mani Neelam Balamalo Kayenu Tripad Bilva Mangal Thakur says Madhura Madhara Bimbe O Krishna Your lips are sweet and they are like the bimba fruit Manjulam Mandahase And they are very fragrant and the smile is very soft Shishiram Amrita Nade your voice is like the winter. Why like winter? Because the Brajagopis are burning in the summer heat of separation. So when Krishna speaks to them, it is like winter for them. <laughs> because they are burning, their heart is burning in the heat of separation. So when Krishna speaks to them very sweetly, it's like the blowing of the breeze in winter amidst the hot desert summer afternoon of separation. Is everybody understanding? Shishiram Amrita Nade Shitalam Drishtipate. And oh Krishna, your glancing is like the full moon in the night sky of helplessness in the heart of the gopis. The gopis, headed by Sri Radha, their heart is like the night sky of helplessness. We don't know when Krishna will come. But Krishna's glancing at them with affection is like the full moon. The pleasure that the full moon gives on the night sky is the pleasure that Krishna's glancing gives uh, to Sri Radha. Vipula Maruna Netre. Oh Krishna, your eyes are wide and long and reddish. Aruna. Vishrutam Venunade. And you are famous as the flute player of Braja. And Marakatamani Neelam. Oh Krishna, your complexion is like the green emerald. You see? Green emerald. Why? Oh, he's actually bluish black. He is Ujjwala Neelamani. He is Neelamani. He's blue sapphire. But because next to him, is Brishabhanu Nandini, Ashtasaki Shiromani, Govinda Vimohini, Krishna Prema Pradayani, Krishna Mahabhava Swarupini, Brindavana Chakravartini, Brindavana Vilasini, Brindavana Vinodini, Brindavana Viharini, Sarva Prema Pradayani, Krishna Mana Mohini, Krishna Jeevani. Huh? Because she is there, Krishna Unmadini, <laughs> because she is there, the golden effulgence of her complexion mixes with the blue sapphire effulgence of Krishna and Marakatamani Neelam. Krishna becomes green. <laughs> and therefore you can see whole Braja is green. This is Jadyam Jaaguda Rochisham Vidadatam Patram Parasya Shriya Vrindaranya Vilasinim Ridilasa Dama Viramodharam Radhaskanda Niveshito Jwala Bhujam Dhyayema Damodharam. Rukh Goswami Pad says this beautiful divine couple is sit sitting under the shade of the Kalpavrikshi tree on a beautiful beautiful bidet uh, golden throne and Radharani sitting to Krishna's left and Krishna has put his arm around Srimati Radharani's shoulder and he's sitting like this. Vrindaranya Vilasinim Ridilasa Dama Viramodaram with joy he's 
he is doing damodar leela <laughs> damodar leela means to be bound so it is radha damodar why because damodar is binding radha rani with his arms <laughs> he has put the ropes of his arms around her shoulder <laughs> radha skanda niveshito jwala bhujam bhujam means arms he has put it around radha skanda around her shoulder dhyayema damodaram i bow down to this radha damodar in the whole month of kartik so this is the introduction to our class today because today is the first day of our series i just thought of mentioning some vyakhya some elaboration on this rupa goswami virachit Uh, beautiful wonderful prana mantra for radha damodar so with that let's begin the discussion on the first verse namami shwaram sachidananda roopam lasat kundalam gokule bhrajamanam yashoda bhiyolo khaladavamanam paramrishtam atyanta to dritya gopya first word i i would request every day devotees to keep the words in front of you so that we can know how we are following the discussion namami namami ishwaram means namami ishwaram namami means aham namami main naman karta hu i am bowing down comes from the nama dhatu in sanskrit hmm? namami aham namami i bow down granthera arambha kari mangalacharan hari guru vaishnava tinera smaran tinera smaran hoy vigna vinashan anayaya se hoy nija banchita puran our chaitanya charitamrit describes before we start saying something we have to do mangalacharan and he explains by doing mangalacharan two things happen obstacles on the path are reduced and whatever is our inner desire that will be fulfilled why am i saying this because the same chaitanya charitamrit describes that mangalacharan is of three types and one first type of mangalacharan is to explain the vishaya the topic of the book the second type of mangalacharan is ashirwad anybody who reads this work will get this this is considered to be mangalacharan and third type of mangalacharan is called namaskar to bow down so please tell me which out of the three mangalacharan is uh, satyavrat rishi starting his damodrashtakam with namaskar bowing down granthera arambha kari mangalacharan he is following kaviraj goswami's point that before we start writing or speaking anything we should have mangalacharana and mangalacharana has three types one is uh, vastu vishesh explaining the subject matter second is ashirwad by reading this the person will get this so and so by um chanting this ashtakam by reading this prabhu mein mati lagi rahe may the mind be at the lotus feet of radha sham sundar and the third is uh, namaskar to offer obeisances so here namaskar vritti has been seen so, uh, satyavrat rishi starting this damodrashtakam with namaskar mangalacharan actually the word namami you can see many times in the yajnas idam shri krishnaya namaha idam na mama na mama many times the pujari say this krishnaya na mama it is not mine it is krishna's na mama mama means mine na mama means minus 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 m i n u s in mathematics minus without minus m y n e s s so everything we say is mine this is mine that is mine asanam me vasanam me jaya me bandhu vargo me iti me me chakurvana <laughs> we are constantly saying this is mine that is mine this is mine that is mine and in sanskrit if you have to say something is mine we say me asanam me the food is mine vasanam me clothes are mine jaya me the wife is mine bandhu vargo me the friends and family are mine if we keep saying me me like this then what happens material nature next life she will make us a goat because all your life you said this is mine that is mine and in sanskrit it is me so all our life what did we do iti me me chakurvana we kept saying me me so then we become goat our <laughs> our uh, sanskrit poets have written like this so we start the damodrashtakam by saying na me na mama oh krishna whatever i am offering it is not mine by your mercy i am speaking all this 
యోంత ప్రవిశ్యం అమవాచం ఇమం ప్రసుప్తం సంజీవ యత్యఖిల శక్తి ధరస్వ ధామ్న అన్యాంశ హస్త చరణ శ్రవణ త్వగాదీన్ ప్రాణాన్ నమో భగవతే పురుషాయ తుభ్యం ధ్రువ మహారాజ్ సేజ్ మై లార్డ్ ఆఫ్టర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టచ్ మీ ఇట్ సీల్స్ లైక్ లైఫ్ హెస్ కమ్ ఇన్ టు మై బాడీ సో వాట్ ఎవర్ ఐఎమ్ ఆఫరింగ్ ప్రేయర్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ మైన్ దే ఆర్ బై యోర్ మోసి ఓన్లీ బై కృప సో హీ స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ టూ థింగ్స్ వన్ నమస్కార వృత్తి ఆఫ్ ద మంగళాచరణ్ and second telling with humility my lord uh, whatever i am going to say it's your kripa you are the ones you are the one who's inspiring me tumi vakta prabhu tumi shrota you are the one who's playing the veena and you are only listening to the sound as the audience ramananda i said this to mahaprabhu that you are playing the veena you are i am the veena um, ramananda i saying i am the veena to me sutradhar you are the one who's playing it you're inspiring and then when the sound is coming you're sitting as audience and you're listening to my answers <laughs> so in this mood satyavrat rishi starts his damadrashtakam damadrashtakam is so important that sanatan goswami apart from writing it in the hari bhakti vilas he himself spent time to write a dik darshini commentary to the damadrashtakam verse by verse shila sanatan goswami in sanskrit has written a commentary explaining the depth of satyavrat satyavrat rishi's realizations and shila prabhupad's uh, worshipable sanyas guru shila bhakti pragyan keshav goswami maharaj had made a rule that the damodrashtaka must be sung every day in our life he loved it so much <laughs> so namami to whom ishwaram so first he starts with aishwarya mai bhakti i bow down to god so who is ishwara ఈశ్వర పరమ కృష్ణ సచ్చితానంద విగ్రహ అనాదిరాది గోవింద సర్వ కారణ కారణం బ్రహ్మాజీ హెస్ సెడ్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ వర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫిఫ్త్ చాప్టర్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్రహ్మ సంహిత దట్ ఈశ్వరం ద సర్వేశ్వర ద మహేశ్వర ఇస్ కృష్ణ ఏతే చాంస కళ పుంసం కృష్ణస్తు భగవాన్ స్వయం ఇంద్రారి వ్యాకులం లోకం మృడయంతి యుగే యుగే ఆల్ దీస్ వర్సెస్ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ ద డివోటీస్ టు కైండ్ రైట్ ఇన్ దియర్ నోట్ బుక్ అండ్ మెమరైజ్ these are all must verses for vaishnavas especially gaudiya vaishnavas following shrimad bhagavatam so bhagavatam describes the third chapter of the first canto that krishna is the root of the tree of um, godhead therefore prabhu pad said krishna the supreme personality of godhead so satyavrat rishi starts by offering obeisances to god but then he very quickly says but actually that personality is not my vishay i am bowing down for empowerment but i am going to start describing his playground place called brindavan so after saying namami ishwaram he is a satchit ananda roopam <laughs> sat chit ananda roopam let's break this word by word sat means to be alive right chit means to be knowledgeable and ananda is to be happy you please tell me what is the use of being alive if one is not knowledgeable if one is ignorant why even be alive so it's important to be alive but more important than just being alive is to be knowledgeable and alive to be knowledgeable while being alive but what is the use of being knowledgeable and being alive but being miserable and sad therefore it's important to be alive sat but more important than that is to be knowledgeable chit and ultimately what's most important is to be happy ananda so krishna is the source for existence for everyone knowledge for everyone and joy for everyone but this is the aishwarya mai conception now let's talk about krishna in braja sat here means his existence gopavesh venukar navakishor natavar how does krishna exist in brindavan gopavesh he has a very beautiful form naumidyate brava pushe tadidambaraya gunjavatam saparipichchala sanmukhaya vanyasraje kavala vetra vishana venu lakshmashriye mrudupade pashupange jaya canto 10 chapter 14 text 1 this is how krishna exists in brindavan brahma ji says how do you how do you exist in brindavan naumidya abrava pushe tadidambaraya krishna you look very beautiful very very beautiful your complexion is that of a rain cloud your peacock feather is the rainbow 
<laughs> about the rain cloud. When you look at the sky, you need perfect combination. You need the dark sky, you need the rain cloud, you need the rainbow, you need the thundering, you need the lightning, you need the birds flying, you need the moon, you need the stars, you need all of this. So Brahmaji says, oh Krishna, that's you. Your complexion is that of a rain-filled monsoon cloud. Your face is the moon. <laughs> the peacock feather. What is that? That is the rainbow. Seven colors of the rainbow. Your flute playing is the thundering of the rain cloud. Your yellow cloth is the lightning of the rain cloud. <laughs> your teeth are the sparkling twinkling of the stars <laughs> near the moon. And what about your pearl necklace, which is moving back and forth because of your quick breathing? Oh, that's like the birds which are flying in the sky in a group. The white birds are forming a group of V shape. V for Brindavan. Huh? <laughs> they're making a V shape. The birds, white birds, and they're flying in the night sky of Krishna's beautiful complexion. Then he says to decorate it further. You're always smiling. And you have gunja berry ornaments all over, starting with your earrings. And now, during the daytime, when you go with your friends, vanyasraje kavala vetra vishana venu. As a child, you carry uh, curd rice in your left hand. And at the same time, you have a flute tucked to your waist. You have buffalo horn and bugle that you're managing in your hands. <laughs> you're taking care of the cows and walking with food in your hand. You have uh, curd rice in your left hand and you have all the different pickles and the different sabjis dripping between the fingers. And Krishna is licking all of that and eating. Sometimes he's licking and as he twists, the curd rice is falling. So God who is Ishwaram in Braja in a Sachitananda Rupam, he is so sweet. Gopavesh, Venukara, Navakishor, Natavara. This Supreme Lord in his cowherd form, playing the flute, dancing like a cowherd boy. Navakishore, in fresh youth. Taruna, Runa, Karuna, Maya. Vishipad uh, Dilva Mangala Thakur has written. Taruna, your body is youthful. Aruna, it is reddish, reddish eyes. And Karuna, filled with mercy. So, Taruna, Aruna, Karuna, going together. Reddish eyes. Youthful body and merciful heart. Vipulayata nayanam. And eyes are so big, glancing, giving mercy to everyone. Brahmaji says, this form of yours. And what are your feet doing? Mridupade. They are softly walking on Brindavan, the dust of Braja. And Lakshma Shriye, imprinting his footprint, giving the treasure to Brindavan. What is Brindavan's treasure? The footprint of Shamsundar which is not found anywhere. And here, Brahmaji says, Pashu Panga Jaya. What does this mean? Pashu, Pashu is cows. Pashu pa means Palayati Iti. Who protects the cows? Nanda Maharaj. Pashu pa is the name for Nanda Maharaj. Pa means protect. Pa for protection, P. And Pashu means cows. So Pashu pa is the name for Nanda Maharaj who protects the cows. Pashu Panga. Anga means body. And ja means janma. He who appeared from the body of he who protects the cows. This proves that Krishna is not Vasudeva Nandan or Devaki Nandan. He is Yashomati Nandan. He is Nanda Nandan. Brahmaji cannot go wrong. Brahmaji is saying, Lakshma Shriye Mridupade Pashupanga Jaya. So if anyone ever says Krishna is not born from Nanda and Yashoda, you can please show them this Brahman straight from Srimad Bhagavatam. It is not a Gaudiya Vaishnava twist at Gopal Champu by Jiva Goswami, where we say that Krishna appeared not in Mathura, but in Gokul Mahavan, not to Devaki and Vasudev, but to Nanda and Yashoda, not in Mathura, but in our Braja. Brahmaji is saying, Pashu Panga Jaya. You can take the reference. Canto 10, chapter 14, text 1, last line, last word. <laughs> Pashu Panga Jaya. Huh? Unto he who ja. Janma appeared from the Anga, from the body of pa, the protector of Pashu, cows. So this is Satchitananda Vigraha. This is the form of Krishna. Eternal, full of knowledge and full of bliss. Then the gopis have also called Krishna. 
ಬರ್ಹಾಪೀಡಂ ನಟವರವ ಪುಹು ಕರ್ಣಯೋ ಕರ್ಣಿಕಾರ ಬಿಭ್ರತ್ವಾ ಸಹ ಕನಕ ಕಪೀಶ ವೈ ಜಯಂತಿ ಮಾಧರ ಸುಧಯ ಪೂರಯನ್ ಗೋಪವೃಂದೈ ವೃಂದಾರಣ್ಯ ಸ್ವಪದ ರಮಣ ಪ್ರಾವಿಶೀತಕೀರ್ತಿ Canto 10, Chapter 21, Text 5, Venu Geet. The Gopis have said, Barha Peedam, Natavara Vapuhu, Karnayoho Karnikaram. O Sham Sundar, you have a whole crown of peacock feathers on your head. And Natavara Vapuhu, you are dancing as the best among dancers. Or our Acharyas have described, Nata Nara Vapuhu. <laughs> He is dancing in a human form. In Sir Natavara Vapuhu, Jeeva Goswami, has given parallel reading baraha peedam nata naravapuhu that he is to dance he has taken a human like form <laughs> because he can do that in vaikuntha it will be maryada vyatikraman according to the decorum and the discipline of vaikuntha vishnu dancing so therefore nata naravapuhu he has appeared in a very beautiful um, narakar human like form my guru maharaj would say bhagwan nirakar nahi hai narakar hai <laughs> Krishna is not formless he is in the form human like form and karnayoho karnikaram krishna has very beautiful wonderful yellow flowers on his ear shri la vishwanath chakravarti thakur comments in that section and he says karnayoho is in dual case two ears but karnikaram is in singular case so one flower and two ears chakravarti pad writes either it means one flower each between the two ears or it means one flower which krishna is moving between the two years because of his balya chapalyata because of his restlessness uh, he is walking around thinking of shrimati radharani and he is keeping his flower here and then moving it 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 here and shukdev was from seeing this in his bhav samadhi and therefore he says karana yoho between the two years karani karam one flower is being switched or another meaning why krishna switches the flower between his ear is because he wants to give hint to shrimati radharani where to meet so because in front of the sakhas he cannot say let's meet at radhakund let's go to mansarovar uh, let's meet at uh, khadirvan etc so what does he do he keeps the flower here and if he sees some sakhi of shrimati radharani he will move it to the left to show that from ahead we are going to take a left and then the sakhi will another sakhi will come there and krishna will take it and put it here to show that oh from here take a right because it's the right ear so krishna guides shrimati radharani in taking lefts and rights and lefts and rights to meet the destination address and therefore karna yoho karita <laughs> one flower between two ears please note why am i saying all this elaboration to sachitananda rupam although he is ishwaram but in braja he has a beautiful wonderful form rupam ಬರಹ ಪೀಡಂ ನಟವರ ವಪುಹು ಕರ್ಣಯೋ ಕರ್ಣಿಕಾರಂ ಬಿಭ್ರತ್ ವಾಸ ಕನಕ ಕಪಿಶಂ ವೈ ಜಯಂತಿ ಮಾಲಾಂ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಯೆಲೋ ಕ್ಲಾತ್ ಧೋತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ವೈ ಜಯಂತಿ ಮಾಲಾ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾರ್ಲೆನ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಧೀರ ಸಮೀರೆ ಯಮುನಾ ತೀರೆ ವಸತಿ ವನೆ ವನಮಾಲಿ ವನಮಾಲಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹೂ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಜ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಗಾರ್ಲೆನ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ನೀ my guru maharaj explains why is krishna's garland called vaijayanti vishesha jaya jaya means victory vishesha means special special victory what is the special victory the special victory guru maharaj explains it's not that krishna has won over hiranyakashipu and hiranyaksha and ravana and kamsa that's not the victory that is jaya but here in braja vijaya special victory where he wins over the hearts of all the prajapasis by his sweetness that's the victory and therefore he wears a garland of victory vai jayanti vishesha jayati vishesha rupena jayati he he wins the hearts of the devotees in a very special way without any fight without any fight everyone surrenders to him <laughs> for the demons they fight and then they surrender but in braja the devotees surrender without any fight very beautiful ಜಹಾನ ಕಾಮ ಹೋತ ತೀರೋ ಕಮಾನೋ ಸೇ 
वहां विजय होती थी नटवर की केवल मुरली के तानों से कृष्णा विंस द हॉट जस्ट बाय हिज फ्लूट when raskhan ji gave up uh, his tradition and became a brijbasi then the islamic king asked him kya kami islam mein kyon bisrai aan oh why did you give up our practice and you joined another camp so raskhan ji said kami nahi islam mein kyon bisrau aan manwa bavra ho gaya sun murli ki taan i did not give up islam no 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 i did not it's just that my heart went crazily magnetized and mesmerized by the flute sound of shamsundar <laughs> randhan venu adhar sudhaya purayan gopavrindaihi vrindaranyam swapadaramanam praveshat geeta kirti dear devotees this is why we are alive for verses like this <laughs> we are all alive for verses like this in the shrimad bhagavatam randhan venu adhar sudhaya purayan shukdev goswami says krishna through the well Shukdev Goswami is very rustic. He could have said Krishna is playing the flute, but that's not what he is saying. Randhan Venu who adhara sudhaya purayan. He Krishna is filling the holes of the flute with the nectar dripping from his lips. Think about it. Just think about it. The nectar dripping from Krishna's lips is filling the holes of Krishna's flute. And Vrindaranyam Swapadaramanam Pravishat Gita Kirti. And in this way, Krishna enters Braja. Where he is surrounded by his friends, and what are they doing? Gita Kirti, uh, Gopa Vrindai hi Gita Kirti. The, all the friends are singing Geet, Krishna's glorification. Why are Krishna? Why is Krishna quiet and listening to their Geet? Oh, because Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam. First there must be Shravanam, then Kirtan. So Krishna knows in the future at Kurukshetra I have to also sing a Geeta. So I have to do Kirtanam there. But how can I do Kirtanam without doing Shravanam? So now. He is doing Gita Kirti. He is hearing his own glorification, Shravanam, from his friends. Then he digests that, and then on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, to his friend Arjun, he does Kirtan. <laughs> so this is Sachitan and the Rupam, very beautiful form. Acha. So now some some of us may have this uh, thought in our heart. Damodrashtakam is in Vatsalya Rati. The Sthayi Bhav, the root, the base uh, mood. Is that of motherly affection? So you should be describing Bal Gopal. Why are you speaking about Madan Mohan Krishna, Sham Sundar, Rasik Shekhar, Radha Raman Krishna? Oh, because Shila Sanatan Goswami in his Dik Darshini Tika has done this. <laughs> in Sachitananda Rupam, he elaborates with verses from Shrimad Bhagavatam, glorifying the form of Sham Sundar to say that this is how beautiful Krishna is. So now this is called Kaimutik Nyaya. If Krishna, if Krishna is so beautiful, imagine him when he's a child. This is why the description is there. When human beings they look very innocent and beautiful as children. After describing Sham Sundar's Barha Pidam form, now imagine when he's a baby in the lap of Mother Yashoda, how beautiful he will be. That is the implication. So Namami Ishwaram Sachitananda Rupam, very beautiful form. Very, very beautiful. And here the word "chit" means Krishna is all knowledgeable. What is his knowledge outside Brindavan? Abhidnya haswarat. He knows everything. Veda ham samati tani vartamana ni charchuna. He knows past, present, and future. Matta smriti dhyana ma pohanam cha. From me comes knowledge, remembrance, and forgetfulness. That's Krishna outside Braja. But in Braja, chit. What is the knowledge that he knows? Or oh, he knows how to interact with which devotee. That is the chit shakti in Braja. Like when he looks at a calf, he knows how to speak to a calf. Depending on what the rati of the calf is, what the love is. When he is with Mother Yashoda, he will not cut the jokes that he cuts with his friends. When he is with his friends, he will not cut the jokes that he cuts while being with Shrimati Radharani. While being with Shrimati Radharani, he will not behave with her like he behaves with the calves. So to be completely aware, Rasaraj. Rasika Shekhara Krishna Parama Karun. A dui ichar hoite, a dui karane ichar udgam. Chaitana Charitamrit describes externally Krishna is Rasik Shekhar. He is the canvas of all colors. There is Shantarati, Dasirati, Sakhirati, Vatsalirati, Madhurirati, Rasaraj. He is very colorful. And in the heart, Parama Karun. He is most merciful. 
and in Gaurilila, both this came together because externally he was tasting all juices except the juice of bhakti. And internally, he's most merciful, but he has not given the most merciful thing that is Krishna Prem. So when his Rasik Shekhar quality and Param Karun quality came together, then it became Shachinandan Gora, where he wanted to taste as Rasik Shekhar Mahabhav Swarup. He wanted to taste the mood of a devotee, that Srimati Radharani. And internally being very merciful, he wanted to give it out. Hmm? Understand? So this is uh, Sachitananda Rupam. So Sat, he is eternally beautiful in Vrindavan. Eternally beautiful. And Chit, he has the knowledge of how to reciprocate with whom. And Ananda, who is Ananda? Ladhinera Sara Prem Prema Sara Bha. Bhavera Parakashtha Nama Mahabha, Mahabhava Swarupa Shri Radha Thakurani, Sarvaguna Khani Krishna Kanta Shiromani, Ananda Swarupini, is Radharani. Where is the Praman for that? Ananda Chinmaya Rasa, Mataya Manasu, Yaprani Nam Pratipalam Smanatam Upetya, Leela Yitena Bhuvanani Jaya Jajashram, Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami, Ananda Chinmaya Rasa, Pratibhavi Tabi, Stabiria Eva Nijarupa Taya Kalabi, Goloka Meva Nivasati Akhilatma Bhuto, Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. Both these verses we can refer to in the fifth chapter of Brahma Samhita, where it describes um, Radha is Ananda and Krishna is Chit. So when they meet, Ananda Chinmaya Rasa. <laughs> this is Madhuri Rati. So this is Namami Ishwaram Sachitananda Rupam. Chalo. Next, next phrase. Lasat Kundalam. What is Lasat Kundalam? Lasat Kundalam means very beautiful, wonderful, moving earrings. Why would Srila Sanatan Goswami out of nowhere start talking about the earrings? What is so special about the earrings? <laughs> Why out of nowhere will we start talking about the earrings? If you're taking notes about this, please write down. There are many, many reasons why Srila Sanatan Goswami or Satyavrat Rishi starts talking about uh, Lasat Kundalam. <laughs> Generally, we will talk about the ankle bell at the lotus feet because we look from down to top. But what did Satyavrat Rishi do? He's starting from the topmost ornament, the earring, Lasat Kundalam. And there are a few reasons why he does that. Reason number one. Satyavrat Rishi, he's telling all of us, oh dear Vaishnavas, dear readers of Srimad Bhagavatam, till this past time, Shukdev Goswami has never told us that Krishna has learned to walk and run. He has said Krishna has learned to turn over. You know, that Leela took place during Shakat Bhanjan Leela. We know when Krishna developed the strength in Braja, he who is Paurusham um, Nrishu, he who gives strength to man, Balam Balavatam Chaham Kama Raga Vivarjitam in the Gita, the strength of the strong. But in Braja, when as the baby he got the strength to turn over to his left, it was a big festival. <laughs> a very big festival. So Shukdev Goswami describes Krishna developed the strength to turn over. And then he also describes Janu Bhyam Sahapani Bhyam, Rama Keshavu. Krishna and Balaram, they got the strength to crawl on their knees and their elbows. But he never says that Krishna from this pastime or this place onwards starts to run. So therefore, um, Satyavrat Rishi says, during the Damodar Leela, please note in your heart, Krishna has started to run. Why? Lasat Kundalam. If you're, if you're sleeping on the cradle, the earrings are not moving. And if you're walking one step at a time, it doesn't move much. But when you learn to run, that's when the earrings start swinging. So by saying Lasat Kundalam, the implied meaning is, oh dear devotees, in the Brindavan courtyard of your heart, imagine and have darshan of Bal Gopal, who has learned to run. Therefore, the earrings are swinging back and forth. <laughs> this is reason number one. Reason number two for Lasat Kundalam. Satyavrat Rishi is feeling Oh, Krishna has such beautiful chubby cheeks. I feel I can pull them. I wish I can kiss those cheeks. But all glories, all glories to Krishna's earrings. Of all his ornaments on the body, it's only the earrings which are going back and forth. And from the ear, they go up to the cheek and they give a kiss and they come back. And back and forth, they're kissing the cheek. The earrings are kissing Krishna's cheek so wonderfully. And so much so that even when Krishna is not running, they're moving. Krishna, stop it. Enough. 
<laughs> Don't kiss my cheeks so much. Go Rajise Bhare Hekapol Jajera Dharaman Hari Bol Sukhdas Bikha Bina Mol Jajera Dharaman Hari Bol Krishna's mouth inside is filled with Go Rasa which means milk sweets. And outside his cheeks are filled with gore raja, the dust raised by the hoofs of the cows. <laughs> so goras and goraj outside. His face, his cheeks are filled. The most chubby cheeks to ever exist in the history of not mankind, but God kind. <laughs> because no incarnation had chubby cheeks like Krishna Chandra. So this is reason number two. Now reason number three. Uh, <clears throat> Satyavrat Rishi, and in the commentary of Srila Sanatan Goswami, very beautifully explained. He explains that if the earrings are beautiful, that's a hint to say that all ornaments are beautiful. It's just, just like saying when you have to know whether the rice is properly cooked, you don't take the whole pot. You just take one grain and you try to cut this together. Or when you're cooking a sabji, you just take a knife in the middle or with your hand, you try to see if it's cutting through. And if it does, you, you can make a fair estimate. I'm not a chef, but I'm giving a cooking example anyway, because I, I think I kind of think I'm making some sense. Um, so if you try to, because I've done it in the past, <laughs> this is something I've done. So I can speak with some experience. Um, so when you try to cut through uh, the sabji, uh, then you can you can see that the whole thing is properly cooked. So one thing is enough to speak about the whole uh, jati, the whole group. So by saying that the earrings are swinging back and forth, it is to say that all the <clears throat> ornaments are very beautiful. Achha, reason number four, why they are, well, the earring is moving back and forth is because uh, Mother Yashoda is chasing. So Krishna is running and out of fear. He's looking back again and again. <laughs> the legs are moving ahead. The hand is moving ahead. The chest is ahead. But there's only one thing which is moving back. And that's the face. And because the earrings are on the face, they're moving back and forth. And this is another reason. Um, why uh, Satyavrat Rishi and Srila Sanatan Goswami Pad, they explain that um, the earrings are moving. So in this way, so many beautiful reasons have been given by our Acharyas. Um, they also mention that the earrings are swinging and doing kirtan. They are doing the kirtan of Krishna's beautiful face. They are, they are singing the glories because Krishna has very beautiful pearl dropping and they're always, as, as it moves, it's making some sound. It's doing kirtan. Similarly, the bangles on Mother Yashoda's uh, wrist, when she is churning also, it's doing kirtan. And when Krishna is dancing also, the ankle bells on Krishna's lotus feet is doing the kirtan of the devotees. So in this way, the earrings are doing some kirtan of the beauty of Krishna's form, especially the face. Lasat kundalam. Then the phrase used is Gokule Brajamanam. Srila Sanatan Goswami Pad in his Digdarshini Tika makes it very clear that Satyavrat Rishi, he talks about Ishwara first as Aishwarya, my uh, description as Ishwara, as God. And then he switches it to Madhurya, Sachitananda Rupam. And he talks about the Rupa Tattva, the Guna Tattva, the Lila Tattva and the Dham Tattva in one verse. And also Prem Tattva, five things. So he talks about Lasat. First, he talks about um, Sachitananda Rupam. This is the Rupa Tattva. Gokule Brajamanam Dham Tattva. Yashoda Bhya Ulukhala Dhavamanam. Three things are there in that. There is Prem Tattva, because Yashoda Rani is described. There is Guna Tattva, that Krishna is getting scared. And when he is running, that is Leela Tattva. So all of these descriptions of uh, Krishna's Nama, Rupa, Guna, Leela, Tam Parikar, all of that is given in the first verse. Gokule Brajamanam. Brajamanam means to shine. So Krishna in this form, as he's running, he's shining in Gokul. What is Gokul? Kula means family and Go means cows. So this is the family of cows. So when Krishna is running, you can imagine there are cows and calves around. Also Gokul means uh, the Kula of the Gopas. Gopanam Kula Iti Gokula. Shashti Tatpurus Samas. That this is the family of the Gopas. Or Gopinam Kula Iti Gokula. This is the family of the Gopis. 
Go can mean cows. Go can mean gopa. Go can mean gopi. Go can mean Govardhan, where the whole family is Govardhan centric. <laughs> Go can also mean Govinda or Gopal. This is the family of Krishna. Or Go can also mean Goswamis, where everyone in Braja is a Goswami. It's a family of Goswamis. Imagine in one place there'll be one pure devotee, but in Goloka Brindavan, everyone is a Jagat Guru. Each person, just think about it. Every resident in Goloka Brindavan is a Jagat Guru. Brahmanda Tarite Shakti Dhare Jane Jane. Devaki Nandan Prabhu, a very great Acharya in the Gaudiya Sampradaya, has written every Acharya, Mahaprabhu Parikar, every associate of Mahaprabhu, Brahmanda Tarite Shakti Dhare Jane Jane. Every person has the strength to liberate universes. So please tell yourself, Goloka Brindavan is the land of Jagat Gurus. Where everyone is like a Prabhupada. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Therefore, the entry point of Goloka Brindavan is not by the feet. We enter Goloka Brindavan on our head. We enter Goloka Brindavan on our head. Therefore, till the time we are not Trinata Pisuri Shena. If we cannot bow down to one Jagat Guru here, how we will bow down to the land of Jagat Gurus? So Gokula, it's the Kula of Goswamis. So when the Gopas and the Gopis and the Goswamis and the cows and Govardhan with Govind and Gopal in the center, they come together, then the whole Gokul Prajamanam is shining effulgent. Srila Sanatan Goswami Padas explained, Satyavrat Rishi's mood, that Gokule Prajamanam. Krishna is shining in Gokul because of two reasons. One, because of the Dham. The Dham itself is so wonderful. And second, because of his pastimes and interactions with his devotees. Why is Gokul so special? Vaikuntha Janita Vara Madhupuri Tatra Pirasotsavat. Rupa Goswami has written in Upadeshamrita, the glories of Vrindavandham. In a book called Mathura Mahatmya, he glorifies Mathura, Vrindavandham. Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur writes a whole book on Vrindavan called as Brajariti Chintamani. Raghunath Das Goswami writes a whole section in his Tavavali called as Brajavilastava. Sripad Prabodhananda Saraswati writes 1,700 verses glorifying Vrindavan in his epic Sri Vrindavan Mahimamrita. So many Acharyas have glorified. This is the land of Vrindavan. Gokule Brajamanu. The land itself is glorious. Very glorious. This land is so glorious that even when Krishna left Vrindavan, Srimati Radharani did not leave Vrindavan. Krishna left Vrindavan and went to Mathura. Radharani said, yes, Krishna is very dear to me, but more dear than Krishna is Sri Vrindavan. So it's not that I'm going to leave Vrindavan and chase behind Krishna and Mathura. Krishna gaye to gaye, but braj nahi chutega hamara. Therefore, Rupa Goswami Pad in his Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, he says, Kuryat, Basam, Braje, Sada. Four words. Kuryat, must do. What? Vasam, residence, must live. Kuryad Vasam, where Vraje in Braja, one must live in Vrindavan. How many days? One day, two days, five days? Sada, eternally. Kuryat Vasam, Vraje, Sada, Rukh Goswami says. Therefore, one should live in the land of Vrindavan to cultivate Bhakti. The Gokule Brajamanam. The land itself is glorious. But the gopis write something very fascinating. Jayati te dhikam, janmana Vraja. Vraja is already Jayati. But he Krishna, te janmana, tava janmana, asmakam vraja adhikam jayati. Jayati te adhikam janmana vraja. The land of vraja is already glorious, but by your appearance, adhikam jayati has become more glorious. This is one. Second reason why Gokul, Goloka Vrindavan is so special. This Gokule Brajamanam, so special is because of the interaction, the devotees, the sweetness. It is only in Vrindavan where you can see Krishna so beautiful. Krishna is always beautiful, no doubt. But he is most beautiful in Dwaraka. Even more beautiful than that in Mathura. And most, most, most beautiful in Brajamandal. And in that, even more beautiful when he is with his friends. And even more cuter and sweeter and beautiful when he is with Mother Yashoda. And even more beautiful when he is with the Gopis. Who is saying this? I am not saying this. Srila Shukdev Goswami is saying this. Everywhere he glorifies Krishna. 
But only when Krishna is there with the gopis, headed by Srimati Radharani, he says, Tasam avir bhut shauri, smayamanam mukhambujam, pitam baradara shrakvi, sakshat, manmatha, manmatha. Manmatha, manmatha is the word for Krishna. Please don't think Shukdev Goswami had some stammer. So he said, manmatha, manmatha. And nor is it that there was some printing mistake in the Bhagavatam. Instead of writing manmatha once, we wrote manmatha, manmatha. No, this is the name of Krishna. Because manmatha is the name for Cupid. Because Cupid hamare man ko matta hai. Isli unka naam hai manmat. Or Shamsundar itne sundar hai ki wo kamdev jo hamare man ko matte hai un kamdev ke man ko matre wale Shamsundar. Isli manmat ke manmat. He is the Cupid for Cupid. Indra ko Indra Deva Devan ko Brahma ko Brahma Mahabaladai Nand Bhavan ko Bhushan Mahi That Krishna who is crawling in Nanda Bhavan, who is he? He is Indra for Indra. He is Brahma for Brahma. And similarly in our context, he is Cupid for Cupid. <laughs> Kandarpa Koti Kamaniya Vishesha Shobha. Krishna is most beautiful in Braja. And only in Braja does he play the flute. Do you see Krishna in Mathura playing flute? Do you see Krishna in Dwarka playing flute? Why will he play flute? For whom? Huh? For, for whom will he play the flute? Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has described in a very beautiful song. Um, he says, when Krishna plays the flute, Esho Esho Shri Radhe Dake Esham. Venur Gite Radhikarnam. Bhaktivana Thakur says, through the Venu Geet, through the playing of the flute, Krishna calls to Radha. Because there's no Radharani in Mathura and Dwarka and Vaikuntha and in Ayodhya, Krishna doesn't carry the flute. Krishna doesn't carry the flute. So in Braja, Gokule Vrajamanam, he's most beautiful. Gopalangana kardame viharase vipradvare lajjase prushe goshata hunkrite stuti shatair maunam vidatse satam dasyam gokula sundari shukurushe swamyam nadantatmasu nyatam krishna tavangri pankaja yugam prema ivalabhya param. Uh, one of my favorite verses. And I like to quote this even when there is no context. But of course, here there is a context. So therefore, I am quoting this verse. <laughs> what does it mean? It means Gopal Angana Kardame Viharase Vipradhare Lajjase. Hey Krishna, when Brahmanas are doing yajna and calling out to Krishna, Swagatam, Swagatam, Su Swagatam, Idam Asanam, Clean Krishna Namaha. Oh, please, Krishna, please come and sit. Asanam, Grahan Karo. Brahmanas are calling. But Krishna, Lajjase. He is shy. He doesn't go. But the gopis are complaining. Krishna is coming here and breaking. But what is he doing? They are not inviting him, but he's rolling in the backyard mud, dust of Braja. His body is filled with the wet and the dry mud mixed with cow dung and cow urine. Krishna has become completely filled uh, with mud. So there the Brajbasis are not calling him. Still, he's rolling in the dust. And here Brahmanas are calling. Still, he's not going. Point number one. And this happens in the uh, Balli Leela, in the baby form. So after that is uh, Pauganda Leela. And what happens in the Pauganda Leela? Bruse go shata hunkrite stuti shatair maunam vidatse satam. Devotees, yogis are sitting in meditation. And they're remembering Krishna. Krishna gives darshan in the heart, but he doesn't speak a word as Paramatma. Maunam sarvartha sadhanam. Krishna is practicing silence. He gives darshan. Sashanka chakram sakirita kundalam. But he doesn't speak. But in his Pauganda Leela, one calf is sitting somewhere and does oh, one calf or one cow somewhere. And what does Krishna do? Bruse go shata hunkrite. One hum. And Krishna is sitting there and speaks hundred words to them. He starts rubbing their neck and asks them what happened. Do you want to play? Are you feeling hungry and thirsty? Are the insects troubling you? Is the sun very hot? Do you want to sleep? Oh calf, do you want to go to your mother? Is that why you did that? Hmm? Acharyas are writing. In Balya Leela, the Pujaris are doing Havan, Mudra, and they are having Mantra, Yantra, Tantra, Mudra. They are all doing all these different things. Krishna is not appearing. They are calling and he is not coming. 
And the gopis, motherly gopis are not calling. They are complaining. And still he goes in Balli Leela. And then in Pauganda Leela, the yogis are calling out to Krishna. He gives darshan in the heart as Paramatma, but doesn't speak a word. But when the cow says one who, he's sitting there and talking. And then in the Kaishar Leela, Dasyam Gokula Sundari Shukurushe Swamyam Nadant Atmasu. Outside Braja devotees are saying, Krishna, I am yours. I am your servant. You are my master. Krishna doesn't agree. But here the Braja gopis are telling, making Krishna to dance. And Dasyam Gokula Sundari Shukurushe. And he becomes their servant. Outside Brindavan, he is not ready to become master. But in front of the gopis, he melts and he becomes a servant. Acharyas are writing. In his Balya Leela, Pauganda Leela and Kaishor Leela. This trait has been seen. So what is one commonality? Nyatam Krishna Tavang Ripankaja Yugam Premaivalabhya Param. Krishna, I have understood the way to your heart. Wherever there is love, that is where you go. And because Gokula is filled with only Prema Bhakti. Mora Putra, Mora Sakha, Mora Pranapati, Ei Bhave Jai More Kare Shuddha Bhakti, Apana Ko Bada Mane Ama Shamaheen, Ei Bhave Ami Hoi Tahar Adheen. Our Chaitanya Charitamani describes. Krishna is saying, if you bow down to me and you sing Purusha Sukta, I am not impressed. But if you have this Mamata, Mora Putra, my son, Mora Sakha, Krishna is my friend, Mora Pranapati, Krishna is my husband. And in this mood, Ei bhave jai more kare shuddha bhakti. If you do shuddha bhakti in this mood, Ei bhave ami hoi tahar adhin. Krishna says, I become subordinate. And this is there in Gokul. Therefore, Gokul e brajamana. After that, Yashoda bhiya ulukhala dhavamanam param rishna matkyan tato dhritya gopya. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, Srila Jiva Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, Sridhar Swami have all commented in this section in the Srimad Bhagavatam. In the ninth chapter of the tenth canto, Dambandhan Leela. And they write, Yashoda, Bhya Ulukhalat Dhavamanam. Yashoda is mother Yashoda. Bhya means bhai, out of fear. Ulukhalat, wooden grinding motor. Ulukhala means wooden grinding motor and dam means rope. Ukhal Bandhan Leela. Krishna is bound to the Ukhal or Ulukhal, the wooden grinding motor or Dham. Dham means rope and Udara means belly. He whose belly was bound by the rope in this pastime is Dhamma Udara, Dhamma Udara. When you put Dhamma plus Udara in Sanskrit, it becomes Dhamma Udara. So Yashoda, <clears throat> Bhya, out of fear of Mother Yashoda, Ulukhalat Dhavamanam, Dhavaman, Bhagna. He started running out of the wooden grinding motor. Now in the Damodar Leela, in the ninth chapter of the 10th canto, Srila Vishuna Chakravarti and our Acharyas have commented that that wooden grinding motor was placed by Mother Yashoda, not so that Krishna climbs on top and picks up his pot. That's not why they, she kept it there. She kept it there to scare the crows because it was kept in such a way and it was so big and huge that the crows felt that there was a person there. So therefore, the crows would not come and eat the butter. Chakravarti Pad writes. Therefore, Mother Yashoda had kept the wooden grinding motor. And the wooden grinding motor was such that the upper part was flat. And the lower part had some, uh, it could be moved. So what did Krishna do? He twisted it upside down. Because you need to have the base to be fixed. Otherwise, it will move when Krishna jumps on it. <laughs> so it's described Krishna tilted and put it upside down. Why? Teaching all of us this lesson. In the Gita, Krishna says this world is upside down. The roots are up and the branches are down. What is joy? Seems to be joy is actually sorrow. What is actually sorrow? We seem to be joy. Uh, exact opposite. What is reality? We think that's illusion. God. Kisne dekha? And what is illusion? We think that is reality. So this is upside down. So Krishna says, as soon as you come to me, first thing that I will do is I will, tain your, I will change your conceptions upside down. Then you will start seeing things as they are. So this ukhal, what did Krishna do? He climbed on top of it. And he was very wonderfully sitting, relishing the butter. <laughs> and Sripad Baladev Vidya Bhushan writes, Mother Yashoda saw through, there was you know a lattice window. 
lattice window means you have you've seen windows which have crisscross so it's like a net you can see through them so he explains that mother yashoda saw through that lattice window what her child was doing and she could put three things together ah the butter footprints because everywhere she saw there were butter footprints <laughs> krishna thought that he could escape but when he actually hit the pot and all the butter came down uh, he could have actually crossed over that butter right he could have just jumped across he who in treta yuga as ramachandra could cross over an ocean in dwapar yuga could not even cross over a pot of butter this frame is very attractive he tried to jump but it attracted and he fell on that <laughs> on that butter and krishna's foot was completely filled with that butter and wherever krishna went that butter followed that butter followed so first thing mother yashoda was saw was butter footprints second she could hear ankle bell sound krishna thought he was hiding and doing the mischief because he did a lot of things when mother yashoda put krishna down he got angry and in the damodar leela he starts creating havoc he goes into the room where mother yashoda had kept uh, we all know the past time so i'm just giving an overview she had gone in where she had kept all the butter krishna went into that room and he started breaking the pots and eating all that butter and smearing it everywhere giving it to the monkeys and running away this is what krishna was doing but and little did he know that he will still be caught one by the butter footprints and two by the tinkling sound of his ankle bells krishna was so small and young that he thought he could escape <laughs> but one mother yashoda saw the um, the butter footprints second the sound of the ankle bell and third she exactly heard the pestle or the the rock hitting the pot so she heard that sound so she saw she heard these three things and with a stick behind her back she slowly came bhagavatam describes shanaihi shanaihi she came very slowly so that krishna doesn't run away so that krishna doesn't see her and through that lattice structure baldevi devotion pad writes in his commentary that mother yashoda saw and krishna was busy you know he was like eating butter like a king <laughs> and <laughs> he was smearing it everywhere and he was giving it to the monkeys calling the monkeys and saying you also eat you also eat shri pad hari suri ji writes in this regard and shila guru maharaj explains that in the ram leela the monkeys helped ramachandra cross over and find mother sita but as remuneration shri ramachandra did not give the monkeys anything so when the monkeys came and asked my lord is there any gift you would like to give us he said you can eat from any tree anything you can eat any fruit but shri ramachandra felt that's not proper for the monkeys who sacrifice their lives so therefore he promised that i as ram in my next life i will come as the brother of ram brother of balram <laughs> and all of you monkeys you will have an upgrade instead of coming uh, fighting from kishkinda to lanka you will be born in brajmandal you will be born in brajmandal and i will break pots even if my mother chases me with a stick i will break pots and i will feed you with my own hands and in no leela can you see this in all the leelas you see the devotees feed the lord naividya this is the first leela where you see the lord feeds his devotees he feeds his devotees then the question can be now when we go to brindavan there are so many monkeys why they are there very simple because krishna has not finished feeding them abhi tak rin chuka hai chuka nahi hai abhi tak bacha hai itne bandar the itne vanar sena thi ramchandra ke leela mein ki 5000 saal ho gaye it's been 5000 years krishna still continues to secretly steal and find these monkeys and feed them therefore next time you go to brindavan if the monkey takes your specks don't worry about it why because the monkey of krishna is teaching us you are bringing your spectacles to brindavan your glasses thinking that you can see the dham through your eyes they take the glasses away to show dham cannot be seen through the eyes <laughs> brindavan cannot be seen through your charma chakshu brindavan must be seen through the ear <laughs> to teach us this lesson the monkeys come and take our glasses away Uh, don't think you can see the lord through your eyes <laughs> and then in the mood of krishna if you try to feed the monkey maybe not butter but maybe a fruity or something then you can see he gives your glasses back parampara krishna did it so we also do it feeding the monkeys so krishna was feeding all the monkeys to pay off his debt from previous incarnation as ramachandra so sitting on that ulukal on that ukal krishna was feeding 
and Mother Yashoda comes from behind. And as soon as the monkeys see Mother Yashoda, Krishna doesn't see, Krishna is busy. In Marathi, we say, Ekta Jeev Sadashiv. <laughs> which means a person who, you know, sometimes when you have to say, you know, this person, akile mein ek hai par nek hai. you know, like that, when you have to say this person is one, but he's, you know, advitiya. It's a ekta jeev sadashi. <laughs> like, this person is absorbed, atmaram, he's happy in himself. <laughs> so Krishna is sitting there eating the butter and feeding all his monkeys and he's enjoying. <laughs> he never gets to do this. And Mother Yashoda is coming from behind. Krishna cannot see. Krishna cannot see what is happening behind. Although in the Bhagavad Gita, he says, Sarvato pani padastat, sarvato kshi My eyes are everywhere. But in the Damodar Leela, his eyes are not behind because he didn't see Mother Yashoda coming. And the monkeys saw. And the monkeys are eating. And they looked at Mother Yashoda. And the monkeys started. <laughs> they started making this sound. <laughs> Some things come naturally to me. <laughs> For obvious reasons, some things come naturally to me. Like the sound of a donkey, sound of a monkey, the sound of a crow, and things like that. So the monkey <laughs> started screaming and squeaking, and Krishna looked behind, and he dropped the pot, and he jumped out of the ukhal. And this is what Satyavratrishi is catching. Yashoda Bhiya, out of fear of Mother Yashoda, Ulukhalat, from the Ulukhal, Dhavamanam, Krishna starts running. But Para Amrishtamatyan Tato, Dhritya Gopya, Dhritya means fast. In music also we know there are three speeds. One is called as Vilambit, Tal, very slow. Then one is called Madhyalai, little faster. And the last is called Dhritlai, very fast. Therefore, when Bhagavatam describes the nature of the minds in Kali Yuga, Prayena Alpayusha Sabhya Kalavasmin Yugejana Manda Sumanda Matayo Manda Bhagya Upadrita. Everybody's mind is like tabla in fast speed. This is what is going on in everybody's mind. Constant restlessness. Upadrita. So, Paramrishta Matyan Tato Dhritya Gopya. This Gopi, Yashoda Rani, ran so fast. And from behind, she chased him and she caught him. And Srila Sanatan Goswami Pad says, Yogis, they perform tapasya and they even enter Brahma Jyoti, but they still cannot catch Krishna. Pantastu koti shatavatsara sampragamyo vayorathapi manaso munipungavanam sopyasti yat prapatachim nyamichintya tatve govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami. If the yogis for the lifetime of Brahma, even if they go at the speed of the wind and the mind, they can enter Brahma Jyoti, but they cannot catch Krishna. But Mother Yashoda, she kept the pot of milk down and came. She had so much time to do the research and then run behind him. He was running so fast and he was looking behind. He was saying, Maya, put the stick down, put the stick down, please. I did it. I did it. But please don't hit me. Our Acharyas described Mother Yashoda never wanted to hit Krishna. She just had that stick to scare him. <laughs> so it's not anything that she would use it. She would never use it. She's just to scare him. So from behind she ran and she caught Krishna. And Krishna is so restless. And he's a child jumping over different things. And he's moving zigzag. He's not even running straight. It's not like a marathon that you have to run faster than the fastest. He's running zigzag. Sometimes he's going ahead and then taking a right and taking the left and hiding behind the tree and then going around the tree and jumping over tables. <laughs> As a baby, he's doing all that. And Mother Yashoda is a little older and a little heftier. And she can't do all that. And flowers are falling down. Hair is getting scattered. Face is filled with sweat. She had tied the sari to the side. And as she's running, all of that is loosening up. <laughs> and it's the day of Diwali. When everyone's house is decked up. The queen of Braja is running with sweat all over her face. And she caught Krishna. <laughs> she caught Krishna. Paramrishta Matyan Tato Dhritya Gopya. This Gopi Yashoda. She caught Krishna. Something very important about catching Krishna. Very, very important. It's so important that I will have to wait 24 hours to tell you that tomorrow because that's the continuation between verse 1 and verse 2. So let us have this image of Krishna running in fear and Mother Yashoda running behind him and catching him and Krishna's crying and weeping. 
think about this form for 24 hours. And what is so special about catching Krishna from behind will be the starting point for our tomorrow's discussion where verse 2 describes Krishna's form as he's crying. Gauru Premanande Hari Hari Bo Vancha Kal Patrubhis Chikrupa Sindhu Bihari Vacha Patitanam Bhavaniti Vaishnavi Hari Bol Prabhuji, amazing, amazing description, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna, Hare La Prabhuji, Tanvat Nam, over to you. Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Ram. Such a beautiful, wonderful definition and meaning of each and every word of the Dabo Kastakam first verse, Prabhuji. So nicely, uh, just uh, His Holiness uh, Parampuji uh, Radha Govind Maharaj used to say, that Prabhupada ne English Vasa ko dhani bana diya. So, aapne English Vasa ko ornamented kiya hai. Jaise ki, it is very difficult sometimes to describe Krishna's pastimes in English. No, that's why some people want to hear it in Hindi. But here, you have ornamented English language in such a way that it is so much relishable, Prabhupada. So much, uh, we are so much indebted to you that you have accepted our invitation to uh, <clears throat> uh, recite this uh, Damodarashtra come and explain to us very nicely. Uh, so much thank you, Prabhuji, for that. And uh, we'll be always indebted to you. Please keep coming and uh, please enlighten us in a very confidential pastime of Lord Sri Krishna and Radha. And thank you for so my, my life aim is to please senior Vaishnavas like you and Mataji. I am living and breathing for this aim. If I can please senior Vaishnavas like you all, and if you offer your blessings, my life is successful. And I try to speak in English because I, I can't explain all this in Hindi, because not because of the, the lack of samriddhi in Hindi, but it's just that I, I cannot speak proper Hindi, like to explain all this. So so because yeah. of my inability, oh, I very speak. Few, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very few devotees have ability to speak in English and still keep the relishable nectarian class. That is what I have noticed. So anyway, tomorrow I will be probably in a train. So I don't know whether we will try if we can do it from there. But, uh, Hare Krishna. We will miss your association. We will make <laughs> try to listen it. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So depending on the time frame, Prabhuji, Mataji can take questions from you. Uh, we will wrap it up, Prabhuji. I still haven't offered oh. ghee lamp. To Damodar. Sure. So I will quickly okay. get going. <laughs> Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. And, uh, uh, His Holiness, uh, 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 with this, uh, let's uh, give pranam to His uh, Grace uh, Amrita Prabhuji. Manchak Alpakaru Vesha, Kupas in the Vesha, Patitana, 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 by his Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai. Jai Jai Shri Radhe. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for a very wonderful session. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Danvat Pranam.